Let's take a look at what's new in SAP Business One 10.0 Feature Package 2305. In SAP Business One Web Client, when creating or editing marketing documents, you can now add a new table row of regular, text, or subtotal types, either above or below an existing row. The text row lets you insert any relevant free or predefined text. The subtotal row lets you calculate and display the subtotals of the preceding regular rows. You can change the description of the subtotal row and add valuable information. The text and subtotal rows are highlighted with color indicators for better visibility and clarity. In SAP Business One Web Client, opening and closing remarks are now supported on the Contents tab of Marketing Documents, providing a new level of visibility and direct access to these fields. You can include additional text related to the current document. You can enter text manually or insert a predefined text. If the print layout is designed to show remarks text, this text appears in the printed document. In SAP Business One Web Client, counting by multiple UOMs is now supported for inventory counting transactions. For items that are managed by multiple UOMs, when counting by a single UOM, you can enter the UOM codes and counted results directly in the matrix. Alternatively, you can choose the value help icon and enter the UOM codes and results in the dialog box. When counting by multiple UOMs, you can only choose the value help icon and enter the UOM codes and results in the dialog box. The system then summarizes the counting results in the items inventory UOM. For better and easier counting auditing, you can now determine the variance percentages in the SAP Business One client. If the counting variance is greater than what is defined in the document settings window, the counting rows and fields are highlighted. In SAP Business One, there are some enhanced features for identity and authentication management. In the SLD Control Center, when you add or edit a user of the SAP Business One authentication server, you can now enable two-factor authentication. After setting up the mobile authenticator to activate your account at the first logon, from the second logon, you just need to enter the one-time code upon the completion of the username and password authentication. You can now register Okta and the SAP Identity Authentication Service, IAS, as the OIDC identity providers and bind their users to SAP Business One company users from the SLD Control Center. When logging into SAP Business One, you can now see the localization and version information in the company list in the Choose Company window. After enabling Okta and binding the relevant users, you can log into SAP Business One with the bound IDP user account. When redirecting to the Okta login page, you can choose to set up a push notification. Pushing notifications triggers a notification in the Okta app on your mobile. After accepting the sign-in, you can now log into SAP Business One. You can now select more than one company with enhanced UX when binding an IDP user to a company user. If the user code is newly defined for all selected companies, the label New appears after the user code. After binding to multiple companies in one go, you can then choose from multiple companies. Thanks a lot for watching. Now it's time to try out these features for yourself.